Kremlin deeply concerned about situation in Belgorod Oblast. Here's a summary of the article. Dmitry Peskov, Russian presidential press secretary, has said that the penetration of an alleged Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group into the territory of Belgorod Oblast of the Russian Federation causes deep concern. He also noted that there is no special meeting of the Russian Security Council in connection with the incident in the plans of the Russian president. On the 22nd of May, Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion announced that they had crossed the border and were liberating the settlements of Belgorod Oblast from the current Russian authorities. They started with the villages of Kozinka and Gora Podol. Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of Belgorod Oblast, claimed that a reconnaissance and sabotage group of the armed forces of Ukraine entered the territory of the Gravoron district. The Russian president's press secretary, Dmitry Peskov, says Vladimir Putin was informed of the breach of the Russian border in Belgorod Oblast. Re Yusuf, spokesman for Ukraine's defense intelligence, has described the events taking place in Russia's Belgorod Oblast on the 22nd of May as the creation of a security zone to protect Ukrainian citizens. Mikhailo Podolyuk, advisor to the head of the President's Office of Ukraine, stressed that Ukraine was not directly related to the events that transpired in Russia's Belgorod Oblast on the 22nd of May. Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of Russia's Belgorod Oblast, has reported that the majority of residents of the Gravoron district had left their settlements. This post received a score of 12,000, with an up-vote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Translation. We have no idea what to do about this. I'm deeply concerned about the situation in Ukraine. Now what? I'm deeply concerned that Muscovia intervenes into Belgorod People's Republic internal affairs. The Belgorod People's Republic voted 127% in favor of independence, so clearly need to respect their wishes. Not only that, but the turnout was 106%. It's a popular vote. The peoples of Belgorod must be denazified. Oh it is way worse than fighting just Nazis. Now Russia has claimed it is fighting to free Ukraine from Satan. Pretty hard to find a worse enemy. Certainly they can all rally behind defeating Satan. It gets worse than that. I hear they are also in league with the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. It's more on an informal economic alliance actually. I was waiting for these guys to show up. Seems like a game changer. I remember videos since near the beginning of the war about separatist movements within Russia itself wanting to rise up against the Kremlin, then kind of forgot about them. Is it the same group? The Freedom of Russia Legion is made up of Russian soldiers who defected on the battlefield as well as Russian volunteers who went to help Ukraine. The Russian Volunteer Corps is a bit of a problematic far-right group who's thankfully quite small. These groups on their own could probably not occupy any significant land areas but this could very well inspire others who hate Putin to finally do something. Yeah, it's funny hearing people cheer these guys on. Problematic far-right group is putting it politely. Anything that causes chaos for Russia right now is a win. But let's not kid ourselves about who these guys are. Well, send a political nutjob to create chaos in Russia. Maybe a tried and tested war strategy. I really don't want to imagine a world where they end up in control of a country. Probably best that this seems like a symbolic raid so far. More a show of what Ukraine could do to force Russia to reinforce their border area, tacitly acknowledging that real, Russian territory is more important than the Ukrainian land they've claimed to annex. Greater than, send a political nut job to create chaos in Russia, that's how we got Lenin. And therefore, the Red Terror, Holodomor, Gulags, mutually assured destruction and lots of other fun stuff. Thanks German intelligence. You really did the world a solid there. Man, if I was Georgia, I'd be thinking some thoughts about that border that got redrawn a few years back, and how maybe pretty soon will be the best opportunity there's gonna be for a while. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.